By controlling North Africa, the Axis powers would have a better chance of holding the Mediterranean, now the epicenter of the war. Unfortunately for Italian dictator Benito Mussolini, his army is ill-prepared to withstand the British forces in the region. Hitler, fearful that more losses in Africa would jeopardize his efforts on the Russian front, sends General Rommel and his Africa Corps to clean up the mess. By 1942, the Allies decide that the best way to break the Axis powers back is to create another front. An Operation Torch is born of British and American troops, a well-supported, coordinated push through enemy lines. Depleting and destroying fuel, food, and equipment would mean the eventual fall of the Third Reich in Africa, weakening Axis aggression throughout the world. All goes as planned, and by January 1943, British General Montgomery's Eighth Army has Rommel and his troops on the run, scrambling to make their valiant last stand at the Marath Line. My wife finally wrote saying, Edward Carlyle just asked to do something else. So I did. It turns out having a background in teaching chemistry can get you out of a desk job pretty quick if you have a mind to it. I knew nothing of Popsky's private army or its ties to the desert rats until I was in training. This sabotage platoon's philosophy is lightning fast strikes and massive explosions deep behind enemy lines. It's gratifying to know that every time we light up a fuel depot or munitions dump, we're stalling Rommel's tanks and helping those poor blighters on the front lines. It may not be fighting fair, but the Germans have hardly fought fair in Europe, so to hell with them. My assignments are highly confidential, so as far as the wife knows, I'm still sitting at a desk. But for some strange reason, I've stopped complaining. Listen up, chaps. The Jerrys have a cozy little setup in this village here. Our job is to break as much equipment as possible, and then dash out before they even know what hit them. Troop B will drive the jeeps behind the Germans and pepper them with machine gun fire. I lead Troop A through town to knock out their communications and burn up their petrol reserves. Carlisle, you're the man with the demolitions. We'll cover you while you set the time to save four charges. We'll have to get in and out before everything becomes all spotlights, sirens, and rifles firing. Cock your guns, wet your sights, and right. Mein Bruder meint, dass es in Russland ziemlich übel läuft. Quatsch. Wir werden es den Kommis schon zeigen. In den Zeitungen steht doch, dass die ihre Waffenproduktion nicht mehr lange durchhalten.
Wir haben auf Genischen geschossen. Hm. Verschnockt, Mann. Oh, get ready, Carlyle. These wires must lead to their communications post. Charge on that antenna. Charge on that antenna. Set a charge on that antenna.
Set a charge on that antenna. Set a charge on that antenna. Set a charge on that antenna. Set a charge on that antenna. Ding dong! That fortress is trouble. We're gonna have to clear it out. Move forward! so they can move forward. Take that machine gun and throw some lead back at those Jedi's! 